I'm Jamie. And I'm Kim. And, and this here is the wildest vlog in the wilderness. We took a little break during the holidays. Things were really busy but fun, and we are back on track with Wildest Vlogs, so it's good to be back. So when we last left you, we had just taken a cruise on the Liberty Bell around the Magic Kingdom, and then we headed over to another relaxing scenic attraction, the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. The People Mover is a really great introduction to Tomorrowland, especially if you've never been there before because it kind of takes you all around the land. And it's also a nice relaxing ride and you can get off your feet for a while. Yeah, there's some great views. You can get some good castle views. You can see people driving around the raceway. And my favorite part, you go into Space Mountain and it's dark and you hear the people screaming on the ride vehicles on Space Mountain. So that's pretty cool. Um, so it's just a cool ride, a nice break and scenic. Mm -hmm. So why don't you come and take a ride with us? I want to be sure to enjoy today while visiting this land of tomorrow. Mike Wazowski and all his pals at Monsters Incorporated Laugh Lord. 
Space Mountain, but my favorite part is the model of Progress City that you can see while you're going through one of the dark tunnels. Okay, let's slow it down a bit and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. The model of Progress City in Disney World is actually a small portion of the original 6900 square foot model, which was housed above the Carousel of Progress in Disneyland from 1967 to 1973. There, it had a tie-in with the ride, which ended in a fifth scene showing the model of Progress City. Once it was over, guests could ascend to the second floor where they could see the full model. Progress City was Walt's early concept of a futuristic city where people could actually live and work. In short, it was a preview for his vision of Epcot, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow. He died in 1966, years before Disney World opened in 1971, but his company would go on to develop Epcot as we know it today. Many of Walt's visions for Progress City did come to fruition, though, like the city's radial design, the monorail, and the people mover itself. So we hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the people mover and Progress City. And next week, we're going to take you on a spin on the world-famous Jungle Cruise. Until then, bye! bye.